welcome back to my channel and for today's video I am trying out two very viral makeup products I have seen all over the internet. I finally got my hands on them so we're going to test it on my channel today. If you guys have seen pretty much any of my previous videos you have heard me talk about my inability to do a cut crease and a winged liner. I love the look of a really good cut crease and some really dramatic bold winged liner but because of my general eye shape I just I can't figure it out. I just can't. So my lazy butt finally bought the cut crease stamp. I have seen this all over the place. A ton of beauty gurus have been talking about it. There are a ton of cheap ones out there. So my cheap ass went to Amazon, found this sucker for like, I don't want to lie, hold on. Yeah, this was only $4.99 with free shipping. So for under $5, I got this and along with the cut crease stamp, it comes with the cat eye eyeliner stamps. I am so excited to try these out. So without further ado, let's see what we got. So first off, this is from Foera, Fora, Foria. I, I, it's from this brand right here. Like I said, it got off the Amazon. I will actually put a link down in the description box so you guys can find exactly what I found. This is the Magic Eyeshadow Stamp Crease. And this is already funny. I'm gonna go ahead and read the box to you. No more struggling for the perfect. Period. That's it. The perfect. With a simple eyeshadow stamp, everything done in seconds. You will surely get a smooth and perfect eyeshadow look every day. Helps make precise eyeshadow designs for creative new looks. Make precise makeup designs for special occasions or everyday wear. For beginners and the creative makeup artist, buy now to make faster and more accurate makeup eyeshadow designs. Features include universally wearable, suitable for all occasions, easy to use, and done in seconds. And the instructions are in Spanish, maybe? I'm not even kidding. The side and the front have English descriptions, and then the back has instructions in, I want to say Spanish. I really can't even tell. Well, hopefully there's something in English on the inside that'll tell me what to do. Ah, ah, there they are. We'll get to those in a second. But let's go ahead and look at the stamp. There are no instructions. Great. So here is the stamp. The handles actually feels like those squishy, old-timey um, perfume bottle pumps, which is pretty cute. And then you have the actual stamp right here on the end. And the stamp part is rubber, so at least that'll be sticky, I guess. I don't know if you can tell, but the bottom part right here is a lot flatter, and this part is a lot more curved, so I'm going to assume that this is the top because a lot of assumptions are happening because I don't have instructions. Which really sucks because I may use these completely wrong and hate it, and it'll be my fault because I don't know how to use the product. But anyway, moving on to the eyeliner stamps. Okay, so here are the cat eye stamps. And this, the top one looks perfectly fine, but I don't know if you can see on camera, the bottom one, it has like an indention or a divot in the actual stamp, so if I put product on there, that part where it's kind of hollow, it's not going to show up. Mm, I'm already doubting this. And again, no instructions, so I don't know if this can be a gel liner or does it have to be a felt tip. Let's check online and see if there are any instructions on there. I'm not seeing any in instructions whatsoever. Okay, so we're just gonna have to boss the wall and hopefully we do it right. I am just gonna go ahead and start my normal cut crease process and I'm just gonna go ahead and prime with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. Since I want to give these products the best chance possible, I'm just going to go in with my go-to palette which is the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe. I've had this for a long time now. I know how these suckers are gonna work so going to grab these two transition colors right here. Well, I first saw the cut crease stamp product on Instagram, which I am on and you should be following by the way. Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, everything is Nikkikins. You can check out the description box below for direct links and spellings. And if you're not following me, go follow me. I feel like I have a funny bone every now and then and <laughs> Instagram and Snapchat are the two places to see all of my silliness. Anywho, I saw this on Instagram. It's been out for a while, I'm not gonna lie, but I was just kind of waiting for a cheaper alternative that wasn't gonna take about 10 years to get here. I saw a lot of the people, you know, in the comments and reviews saying that, one, it was really overpriced, and two, people would order it and literally not get it for like two or three months. It was bananas the wait time for these stamps. But I found this one on Amazon and one, it was only 4 dollars 
with the cat eye stamps and I got this three days after I ordered it. I was floored by the turnaround time on this. I'm just gonna go with these two right here. I am kind of late to the bandwagon but I just wanted to make sure I was gonna be able to order one and get it the same year I ordered it. Speaking of turnaround time, if you guys are half as crazy about Halloween as I am, y'all need to start ordering your Halloween costumes because those suckers are already selling out and they're already, you know, it's what, September 9th and they're already saying that if you order now you won't get your costume until mid-October, so if y'all haven't jumped on that, let this be your reminder. Alrighty, and then we're just going to finish up the outer corner of the eye and then we get to try this cut crease stamp. I think I have smeared enough color all over my eyelid for this to work. Okay, so again, the very curved part I'm going to keep on the top. I'm just taking my Urban Decay Nicotine Concealer. I'm going to put that all over, make sure it's nice and covered. I need instructions! Okay. Alright, here goes nothing. Wow, this is way too big for my eye shape. Crap. Oh, my confidence level is dropping by the minute. Okay, it's on. It's probably going to be all over my lashes, but that's okay. I'm just pressing and pressing. And... Um, we're going to try a little bit more product. Oh, I'm using so much product, this is giving me anxiety. Let's try that again. Um, let me see if I can kind of get close to where I was. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And... I mean, okay. Alright, 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 alright. Um, the product is on. And you know what? I have a pretty generic line for her, my cut crease. So what I'm going to do is go back with even more product. I'm going to use my normal Morphe M167 that I use for my cut creases. And I am just going to see if I can fill in the gaps pretty quickly. I'm afraid to open my eye because it's going to crease. So I'm just going to sit here with my judgmental eyebrows on <laughs> until I get um, the product I want on the stamp. But overall, I mean, in a couple seconds, I got that line, and it would take me, usually take me forever to get such a clean line. So I'm going to roll with it. I'm going to go in to my palette, and I'm just going to grab my finger and go into this color right here. Now, do I want to wipe off this concealer and then put the eyeshadow on, or leave the product on and put the eyeshadow on? I think I'm going to wipe it off by wiping it off with the wipe, and then I'm just going to start adding on this eyeshadow. Okay, the stamp is completely covered with that eyeshadow color, so I'm gonna go straight in. And hopefully, we caught the same spot that we did earlier. And... Nothing. I literally got no eyeshadow on there. Okay, so maybe I do need to leave the concealer on. This is why we have two eyeballs. So I'm just gonna go in with my finger and pat on this color like normal. I think for the other eye, I'm only gonna put concealer on like the inner portion because this really went past the edge of my eye and it just did not look good. And I'm having a hard time trying to blend it in. Oh, that was too much dark. Oh crap. <laughs> blend like your life depends on it. Okay, well, we learned a few lessons this round, so hopefully on the next one, it will be a lot better. So aside from my atrocious blending skills on the end, um, it, I mean, it definitely got that clean line that I usually go for. I don't want to say it out loud, but um, even with the horrible blending, the more I look at it, the more I like it. Oh my god. So we're going to change a couple of tactics for the other side. We're only going to do the front half with concealer. And then we're going to leave the concealer on whenever we put the eyeshadow on. And then I'm going to use a darker lip color to see if it's actually going to show up. Because like I said, I pretty much chose a lip color that was the exact same color as the crease color. So whenever I first put it on, it didn't look like I put anything on. But I think I did. So 
So we're just gonna do this part right here and see if it does any better. And here we go. And, um, okay, yep, yep, yep. We, did, we technically did better that time, I promise. We got that nice clean line for the most part. I already opened them, I messed it, but I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit of that concealer on my Morphe brush. And then I'm just gonna go into pat right here. Judgy eyebrows still on <laughs> until we get the eyeshadow on there. This is probably why I have so many forehead wrinkles. Okay, this time I'm going to take this gold right here, put it directly on the concealer. Try to line it up again. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. And... Ugh. The product is still on there. Okay, so it's not, It's it just won't go on there. So I'm just gonna go back in with my finger and just pat it on. Initial thoughts on the cut crease stamp. It definitely gets you that clean line very quickly. Um, however, this particular one does not really help you with the lid color process. I would just use it to get the concealer down, which is the hardest part anyway, and then just go back in like normal and use a brush or your finger or whatever to put the color down. Wham bam, thank you ma'am, look at that! I tell you what, this cut crease stamp definitely, definitely helps with the concealer process. And I got it just above my normal crease, so you can kind of see it when I broke my eyes. This worked out, I'm, I'm kind of impressed. I'm still kind of huffy about this because again there are no instructions so I don't know if I need to use a gel liner or a felt tip or what so again we have two eyes so we're gonna try both but for the actual flat one that doesn't have the divot I think I'm gonna go in with the felt tip and then for the other one I'm gonna go in with gel liner because I'll be able to kind of fill in that space a little better with the gel but first off I'm gonna go with the NYX epic ink liner and I actually don't think this is a felt tip yeah this is like kind of a brush thing I do have a felt tip right here, so we can try that as well if this doesn't work out. Oh my god, the pressure! Okay, um, 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 shit, where's my eye? Okay, so we're just gonna... Oh, I messed that up, I can feel it. Okay, well... <laughs> Y'all ready? One, two... I mean, I definitely put it way too high on this portion, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover that part up with eyeshadow and try this again, and I'm actually going to go ahead and try this with a felt tip, so we're just going to cover that up real quick and get it all on our eyelashes again, but at this point I just don't care. So now I'm taking my Starlux Pro Luxe Pen Artist Edition. Ooh, hurry, Nikki, hurry! Okay. I'm gonna go super low. Okay, so I got pretty much the same results shape-wise. Let's go ahead and fill this in and see if I like it. Well, this is basically a disaster. Yeah, this um pretty much looks like my normal cat eye. So let's try the gel liner on the other side and try to go as low as possible. I'm taking my pretty vulgar gel liner. I'm gonna load this brush up. Oh, oh no! I am not a smart person. I, um, What do I even do with that? So gel liner is not the way to go. I'm gonna um, clean off this lovely eye and try again without eyeshadow on there and see if that's any better. Oh, I just took off my eyebrow. Ugh. The eyeliner stamps should have potential, but I just feel like I'm not doing them right because I don't have any freaking instructions. My poor little eyebrow, she had so much to live for. I'm gonna give this one more try. I really, I really wanna give this a chance. <sighs> yeah. Okay, so let's um, go over the products, shall we? Alright, cut 
Jeffree Stamp. I am surprisingly, mm, I don't want to say impressed by it, but I do like it. Only use it for the concealer part. The eyeshadow does not stick to it. You are wasting product by doing that, but only do it halfway if you have really small lids like I do. It gets that clean cut crease shape very quickly and then you can just go in and fill the rest with your brush and some concealer because I would literally take so long to sit there and get this really clean line the way, the way I want it. This will definitely make that process a lot quicker and then just go back with your finger and do your um, eyeshadow color. Either these just really suck or they are just not compatible with my eye shape. Again, can't tell if I'm doing this right, but I mean, I tried felt tip, I tried gel liner, I tried it with eyeshadow on the lid, I tried it without, and I'm not a fan. I'm probably not going to use those again. I mean, this isn't the worst thing in the whole world, but I feel like I could have done better freehand than this. I mean, I don't know, technically it's straight. I honestly just think it's my eye shape. I just can't get a line right there and I mean it looks okay with my eyes closed but whenever my eye is open I just get that weird rounded effect right here like freaking Cleopatra or something. Since this already looks really bad let's go ahead and see if we can like maybe make it even bigger so it looks different whenever my eye is open. Yep nope ten times worse okay yeah not using that stamp again. It's only four dollars and ninety-nine cents for the set just um Get, the cut, get it for the cut crease stamp. If the eyeliner stamp works for you, that's just fan for fantastic, but it was a complete disaster on my end. So, so yeah, um, thank you for hanging out with me for this beautiful eye look <laughs> that I did. Oh man, if you want to see some halfway decent eye looks, you can check out pretty much any of my other videos. This is not my um, normal ability. Oh my God, this is so bad. <gasps> I love y'all. Thanks for hanging out with me while I test out these rather viral makeup products. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel before you leave. I love y'all so much and I'll see you next time. Bye! Helps make precise eyeshadow. <laughs> oh, I love this. Okay, I'm just reading the descriptions. A magical makeup eye tool, generic fish shape of this eyeshadow stamp. <laughs> this lazy eyeshadow stamp. This was made for me. Universally wearable, suitable for all. I swear this isn't my first time doing makeup. <laughs> the turb, the turb part. So curb, car, car. I can't talk today. I'm taking my pretty bogle. I think I did my eyeliner better in my freaking no mirror makeup challenge than I did with that tool. <laughs>